close your eyes, try to be with the breath, and put some energy into this. Meditation is a form of strength, a strength for the mind. But to gain strength, you have to use your energy. It's like exercising the body. Just sit there and feeding, feeding, feeding the body. The body doesn't get strong. It has to be exercised. In this case, the exercise is to be mindful and alert. Remember, you're going to stay with the breath, and then watch out for the mind if it's going to wander away. Of course, you don't want to use just brute force. This is why we make the breath comfortable. But you have to have some conviction that, that it really is worthwhile coming back, coming back, coming back to the breath. It's like that Far Side cartoon where there are two penguins on an ice floe. One's playing the piano, the other has a little cane and a hat. And the one playing the piano says, no, no, we've got to get it right. This is our only ticket out of here. In the same way, meditation is our only ticket out of here. And if it's not going well, that doesn't mean you're a bad meditator. It just means you have to put more energy into it, pay more attention, use more discernment. This is why we make the breath comfortable again. So the mind will want to stay here and have something good to stay with. But if you find it slipping off again, don't get discouraged. Just keep coming back, coming back. You're developing new muscles in the mind, new strengths in the mind, the strength of mindfulness, which builds on your conviction that, yes, this is worth it, and the effort you put into it. And when mindfulness gets strong, then it leads to concentration. So if you find yourself slipping off, and simply a sign that your mindfulness and alertness are weak and need to be exercised. And as with any skill, you have to start where you are. You may not like where you are, but the only way to get out of where you are is not to give up. It's to put more effort in, to keep at it, keep at it. Try to find ways of encouraging yourself. Each time you catch yourself slipping off, remind yourself, okay, the fact that you could catch yourself slipping off is a good sign. Otherwise, you can spend a long, long time just going and wandering around who knows where, not accomplish much. But I've known people who say they've been meditating and they spent the whole hour just pulling the mind back, pulling the mind back. Well, think of it as an exercise. When you do a push-up, it's not that you've done the push-up. You do it again, you do it again, you do it again. And when the mind finally settles down, you get a chance to rest. That way you develop both the strength of mindfulness and concentration. But the concentration requires that your mind have something watching over it to make sure it doesn't wander off. And if that part of the mind is weak, you strengthen it, and it will become strong. All the habits of the mind are things that are, are done, they're habits because they were done again and again and again. And so if you've been wandering off again and again, it's not only to be expected that it will wander off. But if you keep pulling it back, pulling it back, after a while it gets the gaps of your wandering off get shorter and shorter, and the gaps when you're not wandering off get longer and longer. And then they get connected, and that's how you develop concentration. So exercise your mindfulness, exercise your alertness, that's how they become strong.